it is the traveling Viking back again today we're coming to you from Georgia from Batumi Georgia Batumi is Georgia's second biggest city it is also a city of some very interesting contrasts look behind me here where we have a uh, evidence of the Soviet past with these kind of buildings people hanging there drying clothes in the sun on these dry lines drying lines and these sad looking Soviet complexes now let me go around the corner here and show you the contrast that I'm talking about so here we have more of this old Soviet looking apartment block you can literally see holes in the wall up here falling apart it does look like they may be trying to fix it up again but then you just pull out a little bit here and we point the camera this way and we have these very extravagant uh, skyscrapers almost looking like something out of out of Dubai out of um, Miami Las Vegas I don't know something like this check this one up there it literally has a ferris wheel in the middle of the fucking skyscra skyscraper what is going on with that check it out let's go ahead and investigate that a little bit further and let's go ahead and investigate what Batumi Georgia has to offer obviously this area here with the with the skyscrapers is also like the fancy touristy area that as you know is not what we generally do here on this channel so we will head the other way but first I just want to show you the ridiculousness of this skyscraper over here so check it out now we can see it behind this Radisson hotel we have this ridiculous thing this ridiculous feature literally a ferris wheel on top of a skyscraper I don't think I've ever seen a more weird feature on a skyscraper like this on a tall building flashy modern literally just screams get on me literally just screams flashy show off nature check it out there's some more of these skyscrapers behind me here and then we turn around to the other side and you can see the typical um, Soviet apartment blocks here that just look pretty sad pretty derelict pretty forgotten what a contrast here literally right here you turn around fancy statue here and then fancy buildings on the other side literally like 100 200 meters apart now let's get out of this area pay our respects to this man they do love a good statue here in Georgia let's get out of this area let's head up this way across the bay to the train station further up into the old part of Batumi and let's see what the past was like because I imagine the further we walk away from the sea the further we walk away from this area that's behind me here we will get to see more of what Batumi is or used to be fancy what a couple you a couple decades without communism can do to your economy yeah so it's obviously my first time in one of these old Soviet Union countries it is just so crazy to me to think about that basically what is it 30 years ago this country was completely shut off from the rest of the world part of the Soviet Union today it is an independent country Georgia and bustling and things seem to be business seems to be going well because as you can see those skyscrapers are down and there's lots of other buildings that they're restoring and so on and so forth I need to learn how to say some basic words in Georgian I need to try the local brew also Georgia is a big wine country so maybe we can find a glass of wine to try as well uh, I heard good stuff about that and of course we need to try some some snacks some food and just explore this city check it out we've come to what looks more like the old way and yes yeah, still over here we have the the new modern uh, example of what I was talking about how 
the economy seems to have gone much better in the last 30 years once you surprisingly once you get rid of the commies and then we have the old soviet style apartment blocks here now let's see what we can find here in this part of town let's get exploring some more of batumi i've spotted a shop check it out what is good which one is good this one this one this one Inside meat? Okay, I try. Hello. Is this like filled with something? Ruski aritsi kusun. Meat. This one. Agar hachapuri. Hachapuri. Da. Okay. Yeg, yeg, nutri yeg. Hachapuri, traditional Georgia, no? Traditional Nyagia. Nyagia. It's a guris. 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 It's a Traditional Georgia. Yeah, one hachapuri. I try one. One. Yeah. It's a one. It's big. This one. Yes. Oh. It looks like a big empanada. Okay. Looks like a big empanada from South America. <laughs> Okay, I sit here. I sit here. Um, Coca Cola. Let's take a Coke. What's this one? Yes. Okay. Six. Six. Okay. All right. So we found some kind of Georgian snack. Let's sit down and and have a go at it then. It looks like a massive empanada. <laughs> Let's put you guys over here. It looks like a massive empanada. And it also looks like I'm gonna need to find myself a SIM card here. Just like Turkey, it seems like. Most people have no clue about English. Let's get stuck into it. Look at it, it's massive, size of, size of my face. Let's rip it open here and see what we're dealing with. So, we're dealing with cheese and egg. And he said bacon as well. I don't see any bacon, but yeah, cheese and egg. Let's have a go. Hmm? Not bad. It is basically like a like an empanada from South America. Just absolutely massive. Hachaburi was the name. I was recommended this um, by some people that I've, that I've been speaking to in the hotel to try Hachaburi. This is what we're working with. So it's basically Hachaburi, <coughs> a cheese, an egg, empanada. All right, I'll finish this. And then we'll keep exploring. It's good. Thank you for your help. Do you like new Batumi, the skyscrapers and so on down by the ocean? Yes. Yes? You like? It's very different. Beatty was built seven, eight years ago. This Batumi was built nowadays. Everything is being looked after. Only seven, eight years ago. So all those new buildings are only seven, eight years old, like those skyscrapers and so on. Yes, okay. So only seven to eight years old, those, for those new buildings that we saw in the intro of the video. Before, 
this was what the city was like. That's a massive explosion of economy for the local economy here. Economy? Money is good in Batumi. Okay. Look at what I'm finding here. Just as we're coming from the shop over there. Something with wine. Let's go and check out what's going on in here. Seems like a little small wine production. But also seems like no one's here. Hello. Yeah, there's no one here. I'm just looking in here. We've got all the tanks. A little football. We've got all the tanks. Some vinegar it looks like here. Two glasses. An old little decoration kind of thing. It looks like you could get a tasting. But obviously no one is in. But here we've got some wine. I won't I won't be <laughs> I won't be so frank to to just set up my own little tasting here. I'll just take a look around and look at these old beautiful like knife sword thing not a sword knife and old glasses it's basically like the vikings back in the day where i'm from my only problem is all the letters as you can see there all the letters and documents and shop fronts and so on are all these completely different non-roman style letters unfortunately the shop owner is not in if you know this shop Come here, Chardon wine cellar, and have a taste. Hopefully they'll be home when you come by. This is the first sign that we're coming so far east that it really is becoming this mix of with Asian culture that the letters are starting to change. In Turkey, they still use normal Roman letters, but once you make it just that little step further east into, into Georgia, I think Armenia as well. The letters changes. Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, good. Good? Mm. How are you? <laughs> what are you selling here? <laughs> Your shop? Mm, I speak English. Little English. Ruski, but anyway. The English Ruski. Shop. Ah, <laughs> I cannot do Ruski. <laughs> Your shop? Oh, Turkey. 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 Turkish things. Mm. Let's see. Mm. Let's see what he's selling here. Chaikur tea from Rize, Turkish tea, baklava. I just come from Turkey. Yeah. I just come from Turkey. English or Rize? Marimau. I'm just telling him I'm just coming from Turkey. Turkey <laughs> I was Rize Batumi. <laughs> what do we have here? Almonds. This one, how much? Seven. Seven. Okay, let's get this. Always some almonds, good snacks. Roasted almonds, salty roasted almonds. Let's get some of those. It's always a great snack when we, when we're traveling in the buses and trains and all that. Let's find the seven for him. Ah, not your shop. Boss, boss, boss. Boss. Big boss. Here. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. This is your shop. Uh, cheese. Cheese. Ah. Cheese. Georgia cheese. Georgia cheese. Okay. Georgia potato. Oh. <laughs> now, what is this? This pay for it now. Like a fruit. Yeah. Oh. Fruit. Okay. Where do I find Georgia beer? Georgia beer? Georgia beer. Oh. <laughs> you know beer? F. Georgia beer. Ah. Over there. Oh. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what a nice man. Pointing me in the direction of the the holy juice of beer. Somewhere over this way, he said. Hello. 
These guys are all selling fruit and veg. We've got to sell some almonds now. Man, I gotta learn to say hello in Georgian. These shops here, all just... I was looking for like a bar or something. Rather than just a shop. But yeah, let's keep hunting. See what we can find. Over here we have another great shot of the of the contrast between old Georgia, old Batumi and the new Batumi. But yet still, there's one thing that these two still have in common, other than of course being in Georgia, is the clothing hanging on the side of the building. <laughs> that has not gone away with the old, from the old building here to the new building over there. They're still hanging out, hanging out all the all their all their washing on the outside of the building to to dry. As you can see over here in front of us, just like on the old building here. Now, let's see what else we can find where this Georgian beer hunt is going to take me. I did not find that shop that he was saying. The only thing I found, yeah, was a. A little kiosk but I'm looking more for like a, a bar or something like this where I can sit down and have a beer rather than just buy so we want to taste it here with you guys so we were unsuccessful in the mission of finding a beer up there in the in the old town so I've come down towards the beach where there's a kiosk right here and we're gonna get a beer and then we're gonna sit down on the beach for the end then we can at least find a beer this way let's see what we have Stella to our corona no thanks Löwenbrau is this Georgian it sounds very German yeah, it's a German beer ah yeah here we go this one is something, something Georgian. Real Georgian beer. Let's go. We'll try one of these. How much? Seven. Seven, okay. You can, ah, it's like open like this, okay. So we've got ourselves a beer. Now, let's head down to the beach and see what it's like down there. And open our beer once we get there. All right, so check it out. We've made it to the beach. Not exactly the most uh, breathtaking beach. Not exactly the most beautiful, stunning beach. It is just rocky, rocky, rocky everywhere, as you can see. We've got the big skyscrapers over here and behind me there as well. We've got that weird skyscraper. Now we're on the other side, so we can't see that Ferris wheel still like <laughs> what's going on with that who needs that on the skyscraper anyways let's get down to the waterfront to see if it's as rocky down there as well there we go keeps being rocky inside the water as well but nice and clear the water at least and the sun's coming down so let's have a seat over here Crack open this beer. Ah, beautiful. Just what I needed after a long day of exploring. Skull. So yeah, what do you think? I guess we can safely call this kind of a <coughs> Miami, Dubai, Las Vegas type of mini version in a Georgian style here. Not at all what I expected from Georgia. I expected it to be much more Soviet-like in the atmosphere in general. Maybe we'll find that as we explore more of the country. I'm not sure if this is gonna be a two-part video we will continue tomorrow, or if I'm gonna end it here. We'll see when I edit the video. You will of course know if the video is longer than this. But I will finish this beer 
sitting here taking in the view of the sunset and then I will either see you tomorrow or I will see you when I see you. Skull!